Now here's an American combo of the young rascals, so let's just bring them on. Here. So let's go.
Here are the young rascals. America in this crisis of confidence when the Beatles and Freddie and the Dreamers even were wiping out American bands. Well, America looked at the situation, assessed it, and within a very short time, by the end of 65, 6, it was back in business. neck of the woods they they were a pretty popular band uh, the rascals say like i never noticed a hammond organ in my life till i saw the rascals and then we went and scrounged up somebody's old hammond organ and here's a whole other texture of sand people don't realize the contribution the rascals made uh, uh were the uptown band and you know they had this vicious rhythm section i mean it was popping between uh, Felix's left hand and Dino Danelli. I mean, it was great. The 12th Annual Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony honoring the Bee Gees, Buffalo Springfield, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Jackson 5, Mahalia Jackson, Joni Mitchell, Bill Monroe, Parliament Funkadelic, and the Rascals. With presenters, the artist formerly known as Prince, Sean Colvin, Emmy Lou Harris and Ricky Skaggs, Tom Petty, Diana Ross, Mavis Staples, James Taylor, Stephen Van Zandt, and Brian Wilson. With performances by the Bee Gees, Sean Colvin, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Emmy Lou Harris and Ricky Skaggs, Parliament Funkadelic, Tom Petty, The Rascals, Mavis Staples, and James Taylor. Now this is going to be really interesting. If you've never heard Steve Van Zandt, you're in for a treat. Well, here they are again, one of the hottest new groups in the country today, the Young Rascals. One, two, three, four. 
asking for the young rascals. The Groovin has the number one on the chart. So here they are. Life would be ecstasy. You and me endlessly. Trouble gone. Yes, it's gone. I'm in ecstasy. With a girl. I'm in love with girl life. I'm in love with you. I'm To induct the Rascals into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, please welcome Stephen Van Zandt. Some people may not realize it, but the Rascals were the first rock band in the world. In the 50s, you know, we had vocal groups and uh, solo people, you know. And then in the 60s on the West Coast, uh, we had the Beach Boys, but yeah, they really were a vocal group, and they became a band later, you know. We also had the Birds, but uh, McGuinn really did that first record by himself, and then they became a band later. <laughs> and okay, over there in England, some guys were making some noise. But uh, in the real world, in the center of the universe, New Jersey, the Rascals were the first band. Which is why I don't understand why it took so long to get into the Hall of Fame. Some rumors have gone around that um, people were, didn't like their physical uh, accoutrements. Uh, you know, their uh, stage garb was a little uh, bizarre. Uh, what I'm trying to say is people think they uh, dress funny. Now, this is a subject I know something about. <laughs> and I just, you know, for the record tonight, I want to say that there was absolutely nothing unusual about the way the rascals dressed. Nothing strange about that. The first time I saw the Rascals with a Keyport roller drone in Keyport, New Jersey. That's right. No, there was no Fillmore's. There was no arenas in those days. Rock and roll played skating rinks where it belonged. <laughs> they were fantastic in those days. They were wild. Eddie would jump around. He was a wild man. He was with the tambourines and maracas and and Gene was so cool with the guitar up there, you know, he was just fantastic. And, and Dino, 
I, with all due respect to all my drummer friends, and most of my friends are drummers, uh, he was the greatest rock drummer ever. Is, is. And of course, Felix uh, introducing that amazing uh, B3, that big thing, you know. It was amazing. To this day, every roadie in New Jersey has a hernia and back trouble. They hate him. The uh, first time I ever heard the song, I'll never forget it. I was with my girlfriend at the time. Beautiful girl, oh. You should have seen this girl. I'll never forget her, Loretta Gorgonzola. She was so beautiful. She had everything. She, she had brains, she had everything. And we're there, you know, just uh, her mother was out, and we're, uh, we're really starting to communicate, you know, and, and um, all of a sudden, I ain't gonna eat out my heart anymore, comes on the radio. I just stopped. I just stopped. She says, what's wrong, what's wrong? I like, uh, she wasn't even there anymore. I couldn't even, it was, a, it was, I don't know how else to describe it. It was the sexiest record I have ever heard in my life. The melody, the chords, Eddie's voice, the texture of Eddie with Felix and David, uh, the guitar solo was even sexy. The, 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 the organ, the record was sexier than the sex I was having with my girlfriend, let's face it. <laughs> and uh, I, that was when New Jersey soul was born, right there, you know? People talk about the white soul singers, you know, there's a lot of names that come up. But Eddie and Felix, I'm telling you right now, to sound that black, you had to be Italian. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dino Danelli, Eddie Brigati, Felix Cavalieri, Gene Cornish, please. It is my honor to welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it's about time, the Rascals. Thank you so much, thank you. Let me be brief. I wanna thank all our families, all our friends over the years have shown us such great support. Uh, this is such a wonderful honor. And there's one girl out there that I wanna thank especially, that's Cheryl. Where are you out there? For all your love and loyalty, this is yours too, darling. Thank you so much. Amazing night, I want to thank my mom, God. Sid Bernstein, you were right about the band. It's a pretty good band. Arif Martin, Tommy Dowd, David Brigatti, all the fans, radio, everybody. Thank you, God bless you. I'm talking here. Steve Van Zandt said I could talk here. We thank the Creator, we thank our families, we thank all our fans. Um, we had a lot more magic, and um, we had enough. Thank you. I just want to take a moment and thank Arif Mardin for all the help he gave us, and uh, I'd like to thank Ahmed for giving us the opportunity to make those records. Uh, it was a great family in those days, and the fun that we had was shared by all of you because we were having it just at the same time. I just got a little thing I'd like to say, if you don't mind. You know, one of the most important dates for the Rascals was July 20th, 1968, when People Gotta Be Free became a number one hit in America. Number one, numero uno. But the truly important dates that year are ones that, in fact, inspired this song were April 4th, when Dr. King was killed and when we lost Bobby Kennedy. We wanted our music to be more than pop. We wanted it to reach across races and social barriers to help all of us understand each other a little better. That's what 
our music was all about. We have one hope, and to accept this award, I have one request, is that all the artists who listen to this speech or program, who create tomorrow's music, tomorrow's hit songs, will use the music to reach out and heal and bring us all closer together. Thank you very much. How did you remember all that shit? I couldn't remember it. I cut it for half because I figured it was going long, you know. It felt like, you know, I better, I better cut this thing quick, you know. They love you. I actually have more jokes. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, man. Thank you. Nice one. Good to see you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm so proud to be here on the same stage with you all. Oh, man, you kidding? I was honored when I saw you guys walk out. I've not seen you guys for a long time.
that's constantly changing how can i be sure where i stand with you whenever i whenever i i'm away from you my alibi is telling people i don't care for you maybe i down it's a pity I can't seem to find someone who's as pretty and lovely as you how can I be sure I really 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 want to know Yes, thank you. Thank you, we love you.